I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Coleman Light 2515RL. It's a nice small little floor plan, great couples coach with a slide out dinette and a rear sofa. Let's start off on the entertainment center right here. Uh, the nice thing about the entertainment center is that you can have a nice angle to it, whether you're sitting in the dinette or sitting back on the couch, especially if you put like a swing arm bracket here, then you can also swing it over to the kitchen. But either way, you do have a good view to it. You will notice some cords right here, and that's because built in right here is your multimedia center. That's a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, you don't have to bring a, a separate DVD player. Pop it in right there. You can just hook these up to the back of your TV and you will be good to go. You see you have your uh, cable outlet right here as well as an electrical outlet. Underneath the entertainment center there, you have a little bit of storage, maybe a good spot for your DVD collection. You'll see you have the tinted glass on the front there as well. And then you have some storage right here up top too. Over in the side is a slide out. Nice deep slide here, especially for being a shorter RV. You'll see the dinette right here. Good size dinette. You can see when I sit in here, I have a lot of room both front to back. You know, so a lot of dinettes aren't that way. They're really tight, but I have good space here as well as for my legs to the bottom of the table too. So that way you don't feel closed in, you don't feel crushed, you can comfortably and easily seat four adults around this table. And it also drops down into a bed if you need the extra sleeping capacity. It's quite simple, all you have to do is remove the two legs here, the table will sit along these rails, take the cushions on back, put them on top, and that will create your sleeping space. You'll also notice you have a couple of windows here to let in some natural light as well as help with some cross ventilation if you don't want to run the ducted AC. You can simply open up some windows in here too. You also see you have the light right up above there. So if you're playing a game or eating dinner, have a little bit of extra lighting. And take a look at this. I love this. You want to talk about big extra storage. This is something oftentimes you just don't have in an RV, especially one that is this short. You know, a lot of times when I go camping, I have bigger items. I have some big board games. Maybe I need a place for my bedding, things like that. Or even pots and pans, extra pantry. This is a great space for it right here. And underneath, you see they have three large full extension ball bearing drawers. So again, great storage here built into the slide. Right along the back is a jackknife sofa. It's a comfortable sofa. You'll see they kind of have these uh, built-in armrests right here. Now these are removable. If you want to take these out, you know, they're simply Velcroed on. You can Velcro them off uh, or remove the Velcro and take these out because this jackknife sofa does drop down into a bed. But one of the things I like about it is this right here. You have a center armrest as well with some cup holders in there. Kind of creates a little natural division. So, you know, if you have friends over and you don't want to snuggle up with each other, you can put this down. It kind of creates almost like a, a pseudo theater seating here. The other nice thing about jackknife sofas and the biggest advantage of a jackknife, in my opinion, is all the storage you get underneath. Take a look at that. And so, again, if you need a place to put some of that extra bedding, you can put it right down there. And that way, you know, if guests do want to spend the night, pull it right out and you can make the bed up here. And then above the couch, take a look at that huge rear picture window. Uh, not that we have a super nice view here, but if you are pulled up to lakefront, ocean view, something like that, you can have a gorgeous view and be able to enjoy that there. You also have windows on both sides. This one here is an emergency exit. If you take a look right over here, you'll see an electrical outlet as well as dual USB port. The reason I like this is it gives you a place to plug in some electronics, whether it's a laptop, tablet, cell phone, you know, you have a spot, you can hook that up there. Or maybe you want to create like a margarita bar or coffee bar. You can even set that up over here in this corner. And then it also acts as a really big end table. You do have a smaller one on the other side of the couch there too, uh, but an end table nonetheless. If we take a look right up above that, you'll see you have storage going all the way across the top, tinted glass. You can see that good storage right there. And then you have additional storage underneath. You have this big cubby hole right over here. So again, I talked about board games. I, sometimes I bring some bigger ones. It's nice and easy to be able to slide them right in there. Or, you know, if you want to put uh, maybe some extra food, again, you can kind of slide bags of chips, things like that in there. Drawers going all the way down here. You can see that good additional drawer space and then you move over into the kitchen here itself. You have upgraded thermoformed countertops rather than your standard T-mold. So again, in an RV this size, this class, you, you know, you have to love the upgraded countertops here. And because you have the upgraded countertops, that allows for an under-mounted sink. 
So what they can do then is you get the sink top cover right here. This is great prep space. When you take that off, you see the undermount, undermounted sink there. You have the larger bowl on the left, smaller one on the right. Makes it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. High rise faucet here as well. You know, it has that really nice industrial look, very residential style uh, right there. Of course, you have the window right up above that again to let in some natural light. Then over to the side, take a look at that backsplash. That's really cool. Not only is that functional, because this is obviously a lot easier to clean than any wallboard, but you also have the LED light strip in there, so it lights it up, gives it that really nice look, uh, you know, whether it's daytime or nighttime. You have the three burner cooktop here, the front one being high output. Oven right here underneath in case you want to do some baking. And then some additional storage on the bottom. You see you have a nice big pull-out drawer here. You know, if you want to put some pots and pans in there, you can do that. And then additional storage right underneath the sink. If we take a look kind of up top here, uh, we'll start with the hood. This hood is actually pretty neat because it has an LED light in here. A lot of your hoods don't have that, folks, and it may not seem like a big deal, but this is one of those things where if you leave on, it can really drain the battery. So having an LED light there is great because, of course, you know, your LED lights take about a tenth of the power of your standard halogen or incandescent lights. Right up above that is your microwave, and then over to the side here, you have some uh, extra storage. I like the fact they broke up the look a little bit here. They almost put like a beadboard here, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, again, it just helps break up uh, that, that plain wood look. And then you have good extra pantry space right in there. Rounding out the kitchen is this guy right over here, which is your Norcold fridge freezer combo. We open this up, you see you have plenty of room in here. Norcold is built right here in the US. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right up top, you see a nice little cubby hole, some extra storage there. And as you move over a little bit further, you see you have another cubby hole right up here. You know, probably a great place to put hats. If you're a hat wearer, you can set them right up there, nice and easy. And then you see you have a couple shelves here as well. Um, so what I would use this for, personally, I'd probably use it for a linen closet. Um, you know, you can do whatever you want, but that's probably what I would do, put some towels and stuff right in there. This is something else that's really cool too. When you come, uh, if you take a look right over here, this is the in-command system. So this basically is all your control panel in this nice one little module. You see you can control the lights here, you know what on inside, your awning lights, your slides, your awning, water heater, right? You can decide if you want electric propane or both. If you want quicker recovery and you have uh, shore power and obviously propane in your tanks, you can turn both on at the same time for higher recovery. Water pump and, is every, and everything is right there too. Tank monitoring panel. It's just a great system. Everything is nice and condensed. It's a lot cleaner. It has a code on there. So if you have kids or grandkids come over, they won't be messing with your controls, opening your slides in and out or anything like that. As we take a step into the bathroom, you'll see there are two entrances and exits. One out into the main living area. And as I mentioned, right across from what I would use as a linen closet, the other one here into the bedroom. Right in between those two is your foot flush lever toilet. And take a look, this is a porcelain bowl, folks. I don't know if you've ever used a plastic one before, but the porcelain is way easier to clean. Again, that's not something you get very often in uh, this class of RV. So definitely a really nice feature. Up top here, you'll see a robe hook, you know, place to hang your towels probably. And then directly across the way is the Neo Angle shower. I like when manufacturers put in the roller style doors like this because when you're done showering and you open the doors up, the doors are all wet, the water just runs right down into the shower pan rather than opening a door where it spills all over the floor. Uh, you'll also see you have some shelving in there, a hand wand and a skylight up top. I'll step in here to give you an idea of height. I'm six foot and as you can see, I have plenty of space in here. So, you know, if you're sick of getting into a, an RV shower and, you know, you feel like you're claustrophobic, not the case in here. Floor is nice and sturdy too. It doesn't feel like it's going to cave in on you. Right over here to the side, we have a mirrored medicine cabinet. You can see you have some storage right back there. Uh, right here is a sink top and vanity, electrical outlet, of course, and then some additional storage right underneath. As we step into the bedroom, you'll see you do have two doors here. One nice slider door leading into the bathroom. The other one, it goes into the main living area. So it is nice having doors rather than curtains gives you a little extra privacy. My favorite part about the bedroom though is right here and that is your residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. Just like I mentioned in the shower, if you're a taller person, you know, you feel claustrophobic in there in most RVs. You also probably have your feet hanging off of most beds too. 
not going to be a problem here in the Coleman light. So I love having the actual residential queen bed. You have a nice uh, thick comforter on here, so it's nice and warm, not something you have to go out and replace right away. When we lift that up, you see you have good storage underneath there as well. And then the mattress itself is a memory foam mattress. So uh, nice, comfortable mattress, something again, you don't have to immediately replace. You have windows on both sides. One of them here is an emergency exit. Right up above that, if you're someone that likes to watch TV, not a problem. They did put a backer in the wall. It's already built in, so you know exactly where to mount that TV. The appropriate connections are right up top on the ceiling. Both sides of the bed, we have some storage, a little bit different on either side. The one side here, you see you have some shelving up top. There is a mirror door. Right underneath, you have a nice big nightstand with a drawer there. And you'll also notice underneath that, on both sides, you have an electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports. So you have places to plug in your electronics at night. And if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you can sleep on either side of the bed too. Although I'd probably sleep on the one side with the uh, bigger nightstand. This side right here, however, you do have the hanging wardrobe. So if you want to hang your clothes, you'll see the hanging rod going right across there. Again, a drawer underneath. And as I mentioned, the electrical connections are down below. Storage going across the top with the tinted glass here. You have an LED reading light right underneath and this nice decorative headboard. I love the look of that headboard. It gives that uh, rustic feeling that you want when you're out camping. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Light 2515RL. Starting right up front here, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with a cover. Nice and easy to get to those tanks. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you are down and in. Right behind that, you'll see rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front, they have this nice rock guard. It's like a diamond embossed rock guard there. Gives it a really great look and also helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Fiberglass front end here because this is a complete fiberglass unit. You can see the side there. You'll see that it's a laminated unit all the way down. Nice aluminum structure in there as well. And take a look at this. You have the industry leading three year structural warranty on a Coleman. That's a big deal, folks. You're looking for peace of mind. This unit definitely has it. As we come around to the side here, you see it's also prepped for solar. If you're someone that likes to get out and do some boondocking, somewhere where you don't have shore power, having the solar can be a really nice option. And all you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in, and it will trickle charge your battery. Right behind that is your pass-through storage. You see here you have a covered hinge. You don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. Nice big doorway too. This is important when you're bringing larger items with you, like some of your wider chairs, grills, things like that. You want a big uh, opening so you can put some larger items in there. It's magnetic, so you don't have a plastic clip or anything that's going to break off on you. And if we take a look inside here, there's a couple things that I want to point out. One, you can see the aluminum running through, as I had mentioned. You see the nice uh, the headboard here. That's the same uh, kind of headboard you have in the bedroom. It's a really nice looking piece there. LED light strip going all the way across. Instead of having just you know light on either side, you have the entire strip. Look at the door on the other side, folks. That door is just as big as the door on this side. That is huge when you're talking pass through. That way, if you have larger items, you can get them out of in and out of both sides here. And then you see the in command system right out here. That panel I showed you inside, this essentially is the brains of the unit. So if you ever have to get into it, that is where you will do it at. Then you'll also see slam latch. So you can just shut it like so. You don't have to worry about any you know, small little uh, tabs or anything to turn. Opens and closes nice and easily. If we take a look underneath, you'll see the same kind of diamond embossed uh, metal here going all the way along as our skirting. Right down underneath, power stabilizer jacks. Again, just trying to make life a little bit easier on you. Just touch a button, you can go ahead and have those go down, stabilize the unit. You'll have power both in the front as well as in the back. You'll also see there's a light underneath here. The nice thing about this is if, you know, like myself, if I go camping, it's generally after work. You know, if I can skate out early, awesome. That's not always the case. So a lot of times when I'm setting up camp, it's dark out. Being able to have the lights here to see, you know, as you're uh, trying to stabilize your unit, level it out, things like that, having that extra lighting is really nice. Plus it's a cool look at night and it helps you find your campsite, you know, if you're wandering around in the campground late at night too. If we take a look up top, you see a huge power awning. Take a look at that. It covers almost the entire, uh, the entire home portion here, your big, huge camp space. 
Just touch, uh, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And it has an LED light strip in there. And again, that is controlled by that in-command unit outside. Getting into the unit is nice and simple. You have three steps, but they are upgraded aluminum steps with the grip tape on there. The great thing about aluminum, folks, is it doesn't rust. So if you're sick of having the old beat up looking steps that don't fold out, that won't be the case here. They'll stay looking nice and the rubber grip strip will make sure that you have good traction, especially after a rain and especially in conjunction with this right here, which is your foldable easy grab handle. Right next to that is an outside TV hookup. If you want outside TV, there you go. You have the hookups for it, nice and easy. And of course, that is underneath your awning as you would expect. You'll also see you have two outside speakers. If you wanna sit out here and listen to some music, perfect. You can certainly do that. Those are controlled by that multimedia center I had showed you inside. That unit is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can sit right out here and be able to operate that. You'll see you have aluminum alloy wheels. <laughs> the cool thing about this, not only do they look great, but just like your steps, they will continue to look nice because the aluminum doesn't rust. You see nitrogen filled tires on there. The uh, nitrogen fill will hopefully help uh, your tires hold that pressure for a longer period of time. Now granted, if you put air back into it rather than nitrogen, you'll lose that over time, but uh, the nitrogen fill does have that advantage. Like it with any RV folks, you always want to make sure you check your tire pressures each and every time before you take your RV out on the road. Right over here is your fresh water fill. Nice and simple. If you're going somewhere doing some boondocking, you want to fill the tanks, that is the place to do it. 60 gallon fresh water tanks on the Coleman's folks. That's a huge deal if you'd like to do a lot of boondocking. Water heater right out here. Again, this was that gas electric I had showed you. And then right here is your rear power stabilizer jack. So we come around to the back side, couple things over here I want to point out as well. One is your spare tire. You see it's mounted on the bumper. It also has the cover on there. That way, you know, if you ever do have to use it, which hopefully you don't, but if you do, you know it'll be in good shape. And this makes it really easy to get to being mounted on the spare tire like this. Large rear picture window right here. And as I had talked about inside, if you have a nice view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it here. Window does open the bottom portion here too, so that will help with that ventilation. And then up top, you will notice this unit is also prepped for a backup camera. If you want a backup camera, folks, this makes it a lot less expensive to have one installed. Last thing I want to point out is right back here. You'll see you have detachable 30 amp power cord, city water inlet, cable inlet, and an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 Coleman 2515 RL. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.